What's up everybody, Matt from the Nerdy Review here. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to trace an image in Fusion 360. So tracing an image is a relatively easy process and it can be a pretty handy skill to have in your arsenal. So to get started, the first thing that I always do is uh, I create a circle that is just about the relative size of the image that I'm going to place in. So I'm going to make this circle 5 inches large. And I'm going to make it construction just for the heck of it. But the reason I make that circle is so that I have something of the relative size that I want my image to be. Because when I insert the image, most likely I'm going to have to resize it. So to insert your image, you're going to go up here to your toolbar and you're going to select insert attached canvas. You're going to select the face that you want to insert it on. So we're going to select the top face. Then we're going to select our image, which for me is going to be an outline of the state of Ohio because that's where I'm from. All right, so you can see that it's currently rotated from where we want it. And then it's way too small. So let's make you way bigger, guy. Come on. Okay, there we go. And we're going to select OK. And then what I'm going to do is come down here to the sketch. And I'm going to make that circle invisible. And then I'm going to create a new sketch right here on the top face. And to get started with tracing this, I am going to go ahead and use fit point splines. Fit point splines, for those of you who don't know, it's basically a kind of like smart way of connecting the dots. So what you're going to do is map out the dots, and then Fusion is going to automatically add curves to it. So you'll see what I mean here pretty quick. See how it just naturally curves on its own? Splines definitely take a little bit of practice to get used to, but once you get used to them, they're pretty easy. Although even once you get used to them, they can still be a pain in the butt sometimes. Just gonna move over here so I can keep going. This will definitely take a couple minutes to go all the way around. But as you can see, we're getting a pretty good fit here. And so sometimes when it wants to automatically curve, but you want it to go straight, uh, sometimes you just got to place a few points and then it'll automatically straighten out a bunch of the other ones for you. Again, it's just one of those things that you kind of got to learn how splines work and just get used to them. I always end up getting really close to my computer screen when I'm doing this. But we'll just keep on chugging along here.
And we are on the final stretch. And there we go. All right, so now I can go up here and I can make the canvases invisible. And you can see we have our outline of the state. So now I'm just going to extrude you a few millimeters just for the heck of it. And boom, we got the state of Ohio as an outline. Pretty easy. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to like and subscribe. If there's anything that you want somebody to teach you how to do, feel free to leave it in a comment or send us a message, and you know maybe we'll make that video for you guys. Um, as always, stay tuned. We'll have some more cool videos coming out soon. Thank you very much for watching.